Hello, my name is Beth Barmall reporting for RSNA News. I'm here with Dr. Mark Succi and Dr. Teresa McLeod to discuss the MESH Incubator Core Curriculum at Massachusetts General Hospital. Dr. Succi, can you explain the MESH Core Residency Design Curriculum? Sure. So MESH Core is a one-week innovation boot camp. It's part of the MESH Incubator. It's a program in it. And essentially what it is, is learning how to um, look at the fundamentals of innovation through a medical lens. So we rotate the residents and staff through hands-on 3D printing, prototyping with Arduinos, um, patents, uh, intellectual property, artificial intelligence, machine learning, what a company is, entrepreneurship, how to get grants. Essentially, after this week, you should be able to talk intelligently at conferences, network, and have a sense of how to progress an idea from concept to putting it on paper and so forth. And uh, just like you rotate through a subspecialty service, you rotate through the innovation curriculum in the MESH incubator. Okay, um, why did you feel the need for this type of curriculum in radiology res residency? So I think uh, re residents are well-trained in all the subspecialties in radiology specifically, but we don't get formal training either by the ACGME or others in innovation. And if we don't train our residents in innovation, we're really leaving out 99% of the future uh, physician population that w could have good ideas and could innovate. Um, so I thought in order to best position our residents and our staff to be future leaders, they should be trained in the fundamentals of innovation. And uh, ultimately, five, 10 years, um, I think you'll see some good results in terms of broadening the innovation scope and mm -hmm. who's innovating and how many people are innovating. Okay, what are the results of this curriculum? So, so far we ran it for two years, started in 2018, also ran it in 2019. Had about 25 residents and staff go through, mostly radiology, but also surgery and medicine sent some people over as well. And we bring in lecturers and session leaders from labs like the Center for Data Science uh, and the 3D printing lab to give lectures. They also give us questions. So a few questions each, we form an exam from expert leaders in innovation domains. That pre and post test exam was given and essentially what it showed was that pre the course, the residents average about 50%, post it's up to 90% on the same question. So they're learning a lot. Um, and then when you look at qualitative metrics, like how comfortable are you with 3D printing? How comfortable are you with prototyping? How comfortable are you with intellectual property? Um, on a Likert scale, one being the most uncomfortable, five being the most comfortable, we've seen significant increases across the board. Um, and then comments, feedback, a lot of residents saying that uh, every resident should take this course. Um, the idea of starting a company was daunting beforehand, but they feel like they have a path and they understand it now. Um, those are more of the qualitative metrics we cover. Okay. Dr. McLeod, um, which technical innovations should be integrated into radiology training? Well, I can certainly mention a few. I think as you can tell from what has been happening at the RSNA meeting this year, that artificial intelligence should be a major focus, that residents need training in artificial intelligence, and hopefully to the point where they may be able to develop algorithms and programs themselves. Also important is 3D printing in the innovative process, uh, and I want to emphasize that as well. And finally, uh, programming skills. Uh, we may take for granted that most residents can, can program, but that may not be the case. So I think that those are the three important tasks that we should encourage. Um, and what are the main goals of a curriculum in technology innovation? Well, I think the, one of the most important goals is that if residents have an idea that they have the tools to innovate and they know the mechanisms by which they can produce a product, uh, and I think that's extremely important. Uh, trying to put good ideas into practical um, utilization all can be a, a significant challenge. And just to make an additional comment, uh, I feel very privileged to be a program director of residency. And I think I would like to advise all program directors to encourage their residents, if they have unique ideas, to try to facilitate their implementation. Uh, they're the wave of the future, and we need to be s as supportive as possible. Um, thank you, doctors. This has been Beth Bermel reporting for RSNA News. You can find more news at rsna.org news.